Here's your weather video for this Sunday, June the 12th, 2022. I'm meteorologist Bill Murray, and it was on this date back in 1982 that famed tornado researcher Ted Fujita observed his first in-person tornado uh, out on the plains of eastern Colorado. He had studied all those tornadoes back into the 50s, uh, the super outbreak, the Palm Sunday outbreak, all these uh, had discovered microbursts and understood what uh, caused all these plane crashes, but he didn't see a tornado until this day back in 1982. One tornado warning when I'm recording this late Saturday evening, uh, they run uh, two tornado warnings, one in northern Missouri, one there in southern uh, Kansas, uh, part of some severe weather in that area. But the uh, story is the heat. The heat is on, as Glenn Fry used to sing. That's my obligatory uh, once a summer reference, and it will be on this week from the uh, deserts of Southern California all the way over into northern Mississippi and western Tennessee and uh, eventually into Alabama, too. But uh, heat advisories, excessive uh, heat watches and warnings in effect, lots of uh, uh, red flag uh, warnings and also uh, wildfire watches as well. Uh, western Montana. Though, on the flip side, as a very cold trough dips down into the western United States by early in the week, uh, we see winter storm watches for the West Glacier region, uh, parts of the northern Rockies there, Morass Pass, uh, Logan Pass. Could see two to six inches of snow Monday night through Tuesday. Kalispell, Montana won't get out of the um, uh, 40s all day on Tuesday, so it's going to be interesting. Uh, here's the upper pattern across North America. Um, right now, we do see a big ridge covering much of the uh, much of the western southwestern side of the United States. You can see sort of that axis right through here. We've got a trough uh, upper low there in southern Canada, and that additional trough out west. Um, you know, interestingly enough, that will bring that snow as you see it crashing into the Pacific Northwest there. But look what happens over um, Alabama and the deep south, see a 590 de 594 decameter uh, upper level high there, uh, centered over northern Mississippi, Alabama, western Tennessee, and that will be uh, bringing some uh, uh, normally uh, warm temperatures to a, a lot of this region. The high temperature average uh, at Birmingham this time of the year is about 87 degrees. It'll rise to about 89 degrees by the end of the month. Normal low is about 67. We'd be at 70 by the by the end of the month, but you can see right here, uh, that's going to um, uh, be the center of high pressure. A little system moving through, um, yeah, moving through the Midwest there on the upper side of that ridge. Uh, it could cause a, a shower in northeast Alabama Monday night, early Tuesday. We'll look at that in just a minute. Don't think that's going to be much of a thing, but you can see that little impulse uh, right there moving. Uh, through the Midwest. But as we go through time, the heat sort of concentrates itself right there in the Midwest. And you'll see high temperatures, as, as we'll look in a minute, spreading across that area. But look back out to the uh, Northwest. You can see that uh, really cold upper low there on the other side of the country. As we go through time, uh, the ridge sort of builds back across southern United States. That system moves through uh, the northeast and tries to drop back in from the northeast, but you see uh, the heat ridge will be in full effect uh, across much of the United States um, all the way into the early part of next week. Now, as we get toward the end of the period, we see some tropical activity somewhere in the southern Gulf of Mexico, the western Caribbean. That lines up well with an upward pulse of the Madden-Julian oscillation, so uh, not out of the question that we could see um, that we could see a shower, we could see a tropical storm or hurricane here in the Western Caribbean uh, into the Southwestern Gulf. We'll be watching that uh, very carefully. Uh, high temperatures on Saturday uh, were all across the uh, Southwestern United States. You saw them there in California, parts of Utah, um, Arizona, through New Mexico, Colorado, back into Texas. And uh, that's going to be the story of the next several days. These are high temperatures forecasts from the National Digital Forecast Database for today, uh, looking at somewhere around potentially 30 record highs um, in places uh, like southern Arizona, Colorado, uh, much of Texas, Oklahoma, into Kansas, um, even uh, Asheville, North Carolina. Uh, might get on the act. I, I don't know. Maybe that's not Asheville. I'm not sure what station that is, but it's there in southwestern North Carolina. Tomorrow, that um, 
heat will abate just a bit in the uh, in the west, but will intensify from St. Louis down uh, into South Carolina. And then by Tuesday, the Midwest is in uh, full swing with record highs. And these are record highs for Wednesday. Things begin to improve just a bit by uh, Thursday and Friday. Um, and you can see a few scattered uh, record highs by that point. Now, here's the uh, forecast off the national blend of models uh, for the Birmingham Shuttlesworth International Airport, sort of representative of central Alabama. And you can see middle, upper 90s, as far as the eye can see, um, all the way out to the beginning of that following week, overnight lows in the muggy 70s. So we'll begin to think about whether we'll actually see some heat advisories, and we'll kind of look that up in a minute. Um, the, we're at that time of year where we're not quite into the 100 degree range for our record highs. Um, here we are on the 11th, uh, the record high, or sorry, on the 12th, the record high is 99. Don't think we'll get near that. We'll get kind of close as we get into Wednesday and Thursday. Uh, our earliest uh, recorded 100 degree reading is, of course, on June the 5th. And the, the next one, that was a very early anomalous early season one. Uh, the very next earliest 100 degree reading was on the 17th. So, um, you know, we're going to be in that record territory at Birmingham over the next several days. This is the National Blend of Models for today, um, showing, uh, you know, few 80, uh, upper 80s in extreme northeast Alabama, but um, we're probably going to see low to mid 90s across the rest of central Alabama today. For Monday, it gets uh, hotter, four to five degrees hotter. We'll see upper 90s across much of the region, middle to upper 90s on Tuesday. You can see this continues into Wednesday, a little bit cooler. Um, maybe the presence of a few showers, as we'll see, will help with that. Um, and Thursday, frontal system trying to drop in here from the north. Again, 91 to 96 across the area. Uh, and that continues into Friday, uh, Saturday, Sunday. As you can see, no relief in sight. Now, heat index values this afternoon are going to be approaching dangerous levels. You know, the threshold for a heat advisory in, West, in uh, central Alabama is 105 degrees. But you'll see... Uh, places like Tuscaloosa, Demopolis, Centerville, uh, down into um, Jackson, uh, Camden, parts of west central, southwest Alabama, Mobile, will be approaching that 105 degree uh, level. But um, it looks to me like the uh, the most dangerous day will probably come uh, Monday, when those heating index values across much of central Alabama will be in the 105 to 110 range. Now, Taking the GFS, we see uh, mostly dry conditions today. You can see as we go through time, um, no scattered showers or thunderstorms across the area today. We could see a couple on Monday and Tuesday, as you saw there. Um, you know, just the heat of the day going to be extreme, and we'll be reaching those convective temperatures. Now, some moisture moves in from the east by Wednesday and Thursday, and that looks to me like we might see at least more scattered showers and thunderstorms. We'll be watching that. Frontal boundary tries to work in from the northeast on Thursday. It could um, trigger a few more showers and storms. And then a frontal a boundary approaching from the north uh, by Saturday, and that gives us uh, another chance of showers and thunderstorms. Here's that tropical potential down here in the Western Caribbean, moving into um, parts of Belize, Guatemala, and um, the southern parts of the Yucatan Peninsula. Where does that system end up with time? Um, the GFS is all over the board. It just doesn't have a good solid answer. It's got a second system coming up from the Caribbean there on Monday the 20th. Uh, it's kind of bouncing around another system moving into the southern Gulf and into northeastern Mexico. So somewhere in there, we may have a tropical system in the Gulf. It does not appear to be a threat to the United States. Now, we did watch some activity uh, on Saturday over the northern Gulf. We thought for a moment there, there might be some development going on, but uh, nothing uh, at the end of the day, everything uh, worked out well. In fact, the National Hurricane Center not calling for any tropical uh, activity to develop uh, over the next 48 hours or indeed uh, over the next five days across the Atlantic Basin. The Storm Prediction Center, uh, this is, of course, looking at Saturday evening data, but uh, chance of uh, severe thunderstorms today over parts of the northern and central plains into the mid-Atlantic. Um, back through parts of the Midwest. As we go into Monday, uh, that threat should be mainly across the Great Lakes into the upper Midwest. And then as we go into the day four through eight outlook, you can see the predictability of any severe weather 
just too low on any of those five days. If you're heading to the beaches of Alabama and northwest Florida, great time to go. Um, going to be on the hot side, uh, upper 80s to near 90 for the daytime highs. Overnight lows going to be approaching 80 degrees. Water temperatures in the lower um, 80s right now across the beaches. Uh, and there will be isolated to scattered showers and thunderstorms, mainly during the late morning and early afternoon hours. And uh, predominantly thankful uh, thanks to the sea breeze. So the rip current risk, um, not too bad right now. Moderate uh, through Sunday night and then low. Uh, in the week ahead. And that's uh, sort of a look at your weather. We'll be talking to Larry Snowflurry. His parents obviously had a uh, sense of humor, Got a, had a nice conversation with Larry tonight. We'll be talking about the ethics of storm chasing and uh, his experience in uh, the great wide world of weather. On the Weather Brains podcast, Monday night, we'll be recording at 7 p.m. I have a special extra show this week, uh, be coming on Thursday. Tell you more about that uh, because James has got a vacation coming up. Let's well, weather video for this Sunday, the 12th of June. I have notes on the blog and update on the forecast coming up at noon. Uh, any developments, which we don't expect today to happen, uh, we'll be uh, reporting them there. And until I get to see you next Sunday with this forecast, as I always tell you, keep an eye to the sky because you'll always have something fun to look at.